Saturday night was some really good fights, really good uh, day of boxing. But if you get time, I'm going to put the link below. Go and watch Jamie Conlon versus Anthony Nelson, which happened in the U.K. for the Commonwealth Belt. Commonwealth Belt. Uh, at super flyweight, both guys were undefeated. Not the most active guys in the world. I believe Conlon's been a pro for like seven years, and this was only his 16th fight, um, and not too high on the rankings. However, just a very, very good fight. Um, and I got to plead ignorance. I had never seen either guy fight before this fight, but um, stumbled upon the link and watched the fight, and it was excellent stuff in my opinion, in a very good day of boxing was the best fight. Um, so go and check out this fight if you get a chance and just everything you want in a fight, multiple knockdowns, um, back and forth action, the ebb and flow was just the, the momentum. Neither guy could, could take over, uh, the fight. It was just back and forth fight. Very good, uh, body work by both fighters in fact that's how Conlon ended up winning the fight and just to give you a quick review of the fight Conlon knocked Nelson down in the first round um, Nelson came back knocked Conlon down in the third round Conlon knocked Nelson down no no actually Conlon had Nelson hurt in the fifth round Nelson came back and hurt Conlon later on in that fight. In the seventh round, Nelson knocks Conlon down. It looked like Conlon was in a lot of trouble in that round. And then in the eighth round, beginning of the eighth round, Conlon comes out of nowhere and, and lands a massive body shot and knocks out Nelson and wins the fight. Um, but just really good skill from both guys. Neither guy has much power. Nelson has two knockdowns, knockouts in, in 12 fights. Um, however, it was just really good skill. Uh, I like the fact that there was barely any clinching. Both guys were um, not abusing the Marcus of Queensberry rules like you see a, a lot of fighters do, especially here in America. Um, just both guys keeping their hands free and fighting and um, just just a lot of action in this fight. And you can't complain with that. Good good matchup here. I'd like I'd like to see a rematch. Good, good matchmaking here, and shame on Box Rec for having this as a, a one star fight because it was definitely a five star fight here. Just um, not not Gotti Ward or um, Corrales Castillo or anything like that, but very good action, very good action, and one of the better fights I've seen this year. So go ahead and check out the fight um, if you have time. Eight round fight ended up being eight rounds, and. Um, very good action from both fighters and like i said it was just the, the fact that I, the reason i liked it is there wasn't much clinching and both guys showed versatility and the body punching and then going back going back upstairs and um just the fact that neither guy just had any quit in him and neither guy um yeah i mean neither guy quit and 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 they were they were there the whole fight and just going back and forth. So I I like the fight a lot. Go check it out, man. I'll put the link below and um, make sure to check that out because it, it's well worth your time. Peace.